How are we doing, Football Daily? As you can see, we're here at Adidas's HQ for a brand new show where we're going to be helping you guys at home with your problems. Now, a big thank you to Adidas because because of them, I've got none other than Everton Defender, England International and Netflix Superstar because he looks a little bit like he's from Prison Break. <laughs> Connor, Katie, oh, how are you doing, buddy? There, mate. What are you on about there? <laughs> you never had that before? I have had it before, yeah, but I didn't know where you were going. Now. <laughs> okay, what's going on here? <laughs> okay, yeah. well, Connor, what you're going to be doing here is helping our great viewers at home because they've sent in some life issues that they're having, some problems, and need a bit of advice from yourself. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Good. Okay, so this first one comes from Mo, who is 14 years old, and he says, okay. My dream is to become a professional football player. I play at academy level, but have yet to nail down one position. Is that a bad thing? No, not at all. Certainly not. I still think at the age of 14, I think mm. you should be enjoying yourself, mate. I think you should be working hard, but really enjoying playing football. I think that's the most important thing when you're a kid. So I think in terms of not nailing down a position isn't the worst thing in the world because you're still learning every single day. So I really don't believe it's not the end of the world, but keep on doing your football. I mean, you yourself was playing yeah. midfield in Liverpool. You played yeah. at fullback at times for Wolves, and now yeah. you found yourself at, at centre-back. When yeah. did you kind of realise like, oh, this is this is it for me. I've found my, my yeah, place. Yeah, that, that was really it. Well, at what? When Nuno first came to Wolves, I think it was around the age of 25. He mm. kind of put me back there and I loved it. I enjoyed every minute of it. I always had the odd time where I played at central defence growing up and different things, but it was always kind of playing in midfield. And it was only really when Nuno came to Wolves that he put me back there. But ever since then, I, I've not really looked back. I love every minute of playing there. I'm still learning now, if I'm being honest with you, at 29. So it's uh, it took me 25 years to, to find where <laughs> I am now. So don't worry at the age of 14. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Okay, Mo, I hope you enjoyed that. Sophie27 has this one. Not a football question, but I'm looking for destinations to go on holiday with my husband, mm. but I'm not too sure where to go. Now, I've looked at your Instagram. It's yep. fairly new, yep. but you've already got some summer photos there. Yep. Any places, any places you've been that you really enjoyed? Yeah, the biggest one for me is Dubai. Okay. You go to Dubai yeah, every day of the week. That's you're, you're a sun kind of oh, man, not oh, a city break kind every, of man. No, you're a sun no, no, man. no, no, no. Get me on a sunbed. And, oh, really? Yeah, you better believe it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I'm never on a sunbed because I've got three, like I said, I've got three boys and they keep me busy, but oh, it's got everything there. Absolutely everything. Uh, James19 has our next bit of advice that he needs. I've just started at university and it's a big change to what I'm used to. I love being here and I've made great friends, but I do miss some of my home comforts. Any advice on what to do? And I thought obviously because you've moved to, to Everton, mm -hmm. it's slightly a, a, bit, a bit of a change after having been at Wolves for so long. Mm -hmm. Like, What have you found that has made it a lot more easy to settle in? Oh, so for me, it was a little bit different because my family was always back at home. Okay. So, so it was a little bit different for me. What I do when I'm away from home, and even last year when I was at the Euros, I was away for quite a long time and different things. FaceTime's a big one for me. Nice. I'm a big FaceTimer. And even when I'm not away from home, I'm still a FaceTimer. <laughs> I'd rather see people. Do you know for what I mean? Sure. I'd rather see people than just ring and just be on a thing. So FaceTime's a massive thing for me. And little thing that when we went to Euros, what the, this wasn't necessarily ourselves, but what the uh, the girls did to organise things for us in our room was like pictures of family and, and different things in our room. Sweet. But it, it, was, it was incredible, I'll be honest with you. It was really, really good when we first got in there. But yeah, a big one for me is FaceTime. Yeah. Okay, Layla18 has our next one. I've just joined a new team and I have to do an initiation song. Oh. What should I do and how do I make sure oh. I don't make a fool of myself? Oh. Help me, please. Right. Yeah, so that's a big one, obviously. <laughs> Everybody knows about that in football. That's like a bit of a big thing. My song, this might be a bit daft, but my song that I've always done was Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. That was always one that I've done over the whenever okay. I've moved clubs. So when I heard I was, you did it at England as well. With, with, yeah, with but don't, yeah, don't, don't start asking that. No, I'm no. just saying, I'm just saying. But... But you have a rapper then? No, I'm singer. not a bit of a rapper, but I grew West up watching Philadelphia, I grew, born and raised. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I grew up watching Fresh Prince, so that's okay. kind of something that's always been in me. I loved it when I was growing up. That was my go-to one. Uh, but you've got to own it. Listen, you can't go and be shy. If you go and be shy, the people, your team or whatever you're in will kill you. And you you've got to get up and you've got to own it. Like we had one at Wolves, Nelson Smedo. We got Nelson Smedo singing and he pulled out a mic. Tremendous. Oh, oh tremendous. Tremendous. What did yeah. he say? And he owned it. It was a rap song, and I can't remember what a Drake one. It was a Drake one. I feel like nowadays a lot of the youngsters will be doing Drake. Yeah, but I can't remember what it was. But all of a sudden he just whipped out this mic and he just owned it, and it was top amazing. level. Yeah, amazing. Top level. Be confident with yeah, it. Did you 100%. have to do one for Everton at all? Or? No, I've not yet. But not you, yet. Just Frank, leave that. No, no, no. We just leave that. No, no, no. We just. If leave you're that, watching, yeah. I think we know what to do. Um, who's the best singer then that you've seen? Oh, do you know who's really good at our place now? Amadou Anana. Fantastic. <laughs> fantastic. Really? Yeah, fantastic. He was singing in the shower the other day. And he was brilliant. And he, brilliant. What, what song? What song? Oh, it's song like quite think? soulful. I don't know the song soulful. he was singing. Oh, he's a so yeah, he's quite soulful. Yeah, he's good. 
He's good. <laughs> okay. I swear, mate. One of the worst? He's one of the worst that you've had. I'll go from the club I'm at now. <laughs> I can't imagine Big Tarky to be good at singing. Tarkovsky? Yeah, I can't imagine. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Where would you rate yourself then? Out of 10, where are you rating yourself? <sighs> middle of the road, mate. Middle of the okay. road, four or five. Middle of the four road. Four or five? Yeah, middle of the road. Give yourself a little bit. Yeah. Six. We'll say six. No, no. Rapping, rapping seven. No. Rapping seven. <laughs> Certainly not. Singing, singing Certainly five. Not, yeah. Singing five. Okay, there you go. Be confident with it. Yeah. Um, Jess21 is asking, I've just been made captain of my football team and mm. I really want to succeed. What do you think makes a good captain? Communication. Okay. Be, 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 being able to talk. And not just, not just on the pitch, I don't think with that either. I think off the pitch is a massive part of it. I think being able to speak to your, your teammates, your mates in the dressing room and not even football talk, just being able to speak. I think it's a massive part because it's so easy now to come in from football and get on your phone yeah. and go through Instagram yeah. and go through Twitter and go through the news or the football. It's so easy to do that. I think it's so good when two people sit in your changing room right. and, and, yeah, and chat about football, life, politics, whatever you want to talk about, you talk about. But I think it's so important because I don't think many... Young people especially these days talk enough because mm. there's too many phones and too many things going on. So I think that's a massive part of it. Big on the pitch, but I think just as big off the pitch as well. Okay, this one comes from uh, Sasha21. I'm considering applying for a reality TV show. I've seen in interviews, you watch loads. What shall I apply for? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, I do. I'm a, yeah, I'm a bit of a sucker for that. Yeah, I'm a bit of a sucker. <laughs> Mimi misses a Guess bit. at 8 o'clock. Bit of a, yeah, yeah it on the bit TV. Of kids are in bed. And, you know, what's on now? And we're a bit of a sucker for that, yeah. What should you apply for? Is that a celeb? That's a celebrity one, though. That's isn't a celebrity it? one, yeah. Right, I don't okay. know if Sasha has has that. Yeah, energy, right. It? We love that, by the way. Like, we Would love that, that be your one? We, I just enjoy it. I'm not saying it'd be my one, but I just enjoy it. If someone it. came, your retirement's happened. Yeah. Someone came, Connor. Oh yeah. Do you want to spend it? You're there. You're oh, in the jungle. Yeah, without, oh, yeah. Yeah, without yeah, that, but, it but it, I, we love that one. I've said it before. Massive fans of Love Island. <laughs> massive fans show. of Love. So I knew we were going to go. We were going to get there in the end. Weren't we? <laughs> no, I'm a massive fan of Love Island. Yeah, they were, it keeps your summer going, doesn't it? You tune in for it. You watch it. You get the excitement. And married at first sight. That's more Amy. That I, I've not got into that. Okay. I've not got into that. That's more Amy. That but yeah, I've not got into that. But yeah, Love Island. Yeah, love Island. So one, Sasha, yeah. try Love Island. See what can happen yeah. uh, from there. And I'm a celebrity. Yeah. If you're watching, yeah. keep an eye on Connor. <laughs> um, all right, Harry, thirteen. I recently got called up to play for my county district level. Mm. It's not the same, obviously. But how did you find dealing with the extra pressure of playing for England? As I'm a bit nervous. I think you're going to be nervous, and you can't change what you're about. You can't change the person you are. You can't go in there and, and be shy and be in your shell and kind of. And I don't mean go in and be overcome. I don't mean that. I mean going in there to just be yourself. Do what got you there. Enjoy playing, enjoy playing, enjoy being yourself out on the pitch and, and it'll all take care of itself then. I mean, obviously he mentions England there. What was that first call up for, for you when you get that first conversation, that first phone call with, with uh, Southgate? How was that? Yeah, it was unbelievable. It was unbelievable. Hello, lad. You okay? How's things? You've got an intruder. Hey, you hey, you Welcome. <laughs> Do you know what you're right? Go and do your things. Like it. Go, and do your <laughs> Go and do your things. Go and do your things. Go and do your things. Again, it was it was very surreal. It was something where I remember it like it was yesterday. I was out on on my front. We was actually going for a walk with my boys, and I kind of got a phone call from. Did you, did you have his number already? No, was no, it no, just no. Like, no, it, no it was just a number. Yeah, it was just oh. a number. Yeah. So wow. I kind of I answered the phone, and the gaffer was obviously on, and he said it was Gareth Southgate, and. I passed, me, I passed the kids over to Amy and I kind of told her and she was just like, oh my God. So she waited for me, I was stood outside and it was just kind of, it was so smooth, the conversation. It was so kind of free flowing. It was it was something that just kind of rolled off the tongue, do you know what I mean? Just chatting to him. That, and I think that's how he makes you feel as a manager. He's a, he's a fantastic nice. manager and that's how he makes you feel. But he kind of asked me about at the time, the break that I had and different things, but then said, it'd be great to obviously have me in. And it was something where I'll remember it for the rest of my life. It was incredible, yeah. That's amazing to hear. And obviously yeah. then you were part of the, the Euro 2022, uh, 2020, 2020 squad even. Yeah. Um, an unbelievable experience for myself as a fan, like <laughs> one of the best summers ever. What was it like for you being a part of the team? Again, some of the best, the best weeks of my whole life, I'll be honest. And a lot of people say to me about like, oh, he didn't play or it wasn't about that. I, mm. I'm an England fan. First and foremost, I want England to do well. I want England to win. I want England to go all the way in tournaments. So first and foremost, I'm, England, I'm an England fan, but to get the honour and the privilege of going with my national team at a major tournament was, was, was stuff a dream, something I've dreamed of my whole life. And it was some of the best few weeks of my life. I enjoyed everything about it, training, going to the game, seeing 
how well the lads did, what it done for the country because we just come out of that bad yeah. period of COVID and different things. And we could feel that we spoke about it when we were aware about what it could do for, for obviously the country and, and and the people involved. So it was so so big. But yeah, some of the best weeks of my life. Yeah. I mean, and obviously in the next coming months we've got the World Cup when yeah. basically the World Cup and football is everything <laughs> to everyone. Um, how are you feeling about the competition? Are you excited to go over there? Yeah, it's something where I, I think everyone's excited. Listen, whether you're a football player or not, I think you're excited by a World Cup, no matter when it is. Obviously, it's a little bit different with it being yes, in the winter course, and different things. Course. Hot chocolates rather than yeah, uh, any other drinks. But, but it's a World Cup. It's a World Cup and it, it brings such excitement, such a buzz. Butterflies to you a little bit, knowing that England are going to a World Cup. And we see what it does for the country. The flags come out. and So I always wondered this, like, because there are maybe some camps where managers are like, Stay off social media, mm. like it's full focus in the camp. Mm. Did you guys like feel oh. how the nation works? Yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't not feel it. You're better feeling it for yeah. me because you, you feel the excitement of everybody. You see how much it means to people. I think first and foremost. So I think it's something where you've got to feel that. You know what it does for the country. You know what it does for people. And by the way, we speak to our families who are just as course, excited as, yeah, of course. as everybody in the. Uh, in the big home, in the big yeah. parks and different things so it's something where you've got to see it just, just to feel everything but it's incredible and listen what's coming in in a few weeks time it is amazing for the country get me excited already man i can't yeah. wait um okay sam 24 has asked i got into an argument over someone saying i had a poor touch in football from the opposition how do you how do you deal with criticism from rivals on the pitch oh you crack on oh no you it's not something that you can rise to. It's not something mm. that you can look too much at. It is what it is. It gives you a bit. Of, and by the way, we don't just get criticised on the pitch. We get criticised off the pitch of a lot course. as well. So it's something you've got to you, you crack on with. It's part of football. Is, is that sort of big thing in like the Premier League nowadays? Are you coming up against strikers who are like maybe constantly chatting in your yeah, ear? Not, or do you, I guess you might feel like you know a decent amount of them anyway. Yeah, not not sort of criticising you, but they might be giving you the bit. Played against strikers before who kind of have a little step on your toes or give you little things like that, but not sort of criticising you. You can have a little bit of. A little bit of beef with someone yeah, and different yeah. things and a little bit of handbags but it, it never gets any more than that like we played last night against newcastle and every time the ball went long and i was kind of getting to it first callum wilson was making little noises <laughs> as, as i'm about to like get, get to it and that's what kind of some players doing like, yeah, yeah, that, yeah that's just what it's like but there's never been any kind of criticism on the pitch because i think everybody respects each other in terms of the two teams that are coming up against each other but it's football they is, enjoy it is, is there one striker that you can't forget that's what you remember just was constantly doing it at you constantly in your ear maybe or, or uh, doing those little things stepping on the toes yeah it might have been. mitrovic is a tough one for that, that really Fulham. yeah yeah I mean, not necessarily that but he's just a handful he's just yeah. kind of always trying to get body contact always trying to hold it michael antonio's the same fantastic footballers yeah. but always trying to get hold of you because they're big strong guys and You've got to try and stand up to it as much as you can, yeah. Okay, this one comes from Scott, who is 26. I want to cook my girlfriend a romantic three-course meal for our anniversary. What should I do? Oh. What are you doing, Connor, here? Oh, I'll be honest with you. I might bore you a little bit here. I'm not a cook. I don't cook in my house. Okay. I'm shocking at cooking. <laughs> yeah. uh, I'd go off kind of what I like, three-course meal. Okay. So the starter, the main, and yeah. the dessert. What yeah. are you going with? I'd kind of go, I would go for... Have you ever seen, I'm an Italian, I like an Italian. Okay. I like an Italian. Okay. Have you ever uh, seen arancini, balls, like the, the cheese and rice balls? Oh, yes, yes, yes. You know yes, what I mean? Yeah. They're called arancini. Cheese and rice balls, I know the more so. Yeah, 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 yeah but they're called yeah, arancini, sure. like Italians. Top level. But you would Top never level. make them. Yeah, I can't make them. No, I'm just thinking of, <laughs> the, whoever's that? What's uh, his name? Scott, Scott. So, Scott, have a little look of arancini, but okay. <laughs> and jump on that. Uh, I'd go with, see, again, I'm, I'm an Italian, so I'd go with like a linguine, to eat seafood nice, linguine. Nice. Yeah, nice. that's me all day which, long. Which bit of seafood or? A little bit of everything. Okay, I go nice. prawns, a little bit of mussels, different things, and I'm, I'm all oh, over right. that. And then I'm a cheesecake man all day long. Cheesecake? What, yeah. what just vanilla plain? Or are you going for a chocolate number, strawberry? No, I don't mind a little Biscoff one. Oh. A little Biscoff one, like Biscoff. Yeah, that is a like great Biscoff. I'm a dessert man more than a starter man. Um, so one final thing, Connor, I want you mm. to do. Now, what I'm trying to do with this series, at the end of every one, is get the footballer to ask a question to the next footballer for a bit of advice that you may need. I don't know who that footballer's going to be just yet, right. but is there anything you feel like you need a bit of advice with, a little question you want to ask that I'll ask Ooh. them next time for you? Doesn't have to be about football, could be about yeah. what car should I go and get next? Um, okay. Bit of maybe how do I get better at cooking? <laughs> could, could, you could do that one. I could do that one, yeah. I'm, I'm shocking at cooking <laughs> and that would help me misses, to be fair. What's the, yeah, so something, something, yeah, something to do with that. Okay, yeah, because I'm just cooking. thinking I'm terrible with it, yeah. I'm terrible, I'm shocking with it. Something to do so with yeah, something to do with that, yeah. Okay, brilliant. Yeah, Connor, thank you so much, mate. You've been an absolute legend. Thank you very much. That. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Top man.